Alan Lee DeGeneres born January 26, 1958, is an American comedian, television host, actress, writer, and producer. She starred in the sitcom Ellen from 1994 to 1998 and has hosted her syndicated television talk show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, since 2003. Her stand-up career started in the early 1980s and included a 1986 appearance on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. As a film actress, DeGeneres starred in Mr. Wrong, 1996, EDTV, 1999, and The Love Letter, 1999 and provided the voice of Dory in the Pixar animated films Finding Nemo, 2003, and Finding Dory, 2016. For Nemo, she was awarded the Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actress, the first time an actress won a Saturn Award for a voice performance. In 2010, she served as a judge on the ninth season of American Idol. She starred in two television sitcoms, Ellen from 1994 to 1998 and The Ellen Show from 2001 to 2002. During the fourth season of Ellen in 1997, she came out as a lesbian in an appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Her character, Ellen Morgan, also came out to a therapist played by Winfrey, and the series went on to explore various LGBT issues, including the coming out process. In 2008, she married her longtime girlfriend Portia de Rossi, DeGeneres has hosted the Academy Awards, Grammy Awards, and the Primetime Emmys. She has authored four books and started her own record company, 1111, as well as a production company, A Very Good Production. She also launched a lifestyle brand, Ed Ellen DeGeneres, which comprises a collection of apparel, accessories, home, baby, and pet items. She has won 30 Emmys, 20 People's Choice Awards, more than any other person, and numerous other awards for her work and charitable efforts. In 2016, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In January 2020, DeGeneres received the Carol Burnett Award at the Golden Globes for her work on television, becoming the first recipient after its inaugural namesake Carol Burnett. DeGeneres was born and raised in Metairie, Louisiana, to Elizabeth Jane, née Pfeffer, born 1930, a speech therapist, and Elliot Everett DeGeneres, 1925 to 2018, an insurance agent. She has one brother, Vance, a musician and producer. Of French, English, German, and Irish descent, she was raised a Christian scientist. Her parents filed for separation in 1973 and were divorced the following year. Shortly after, Ellen's mother married Roy Gruesenderf, a salesman. Betty Jane and Ellen moved with Gruesenderf from the New Orleans area to Atlanta, Texas. Vance stayed with his father. When she was 15 or 16 years old, she was molested by her stepfather. DeGeneres graduated from Atlanta High School in May 1976, after completing her first years of high school at Grace King High School in Metairie. She moved back to New Orleans to attend the University of New Orleans, where she majored in communication studies. After one semester, she left school to do clerical work in a law firm with a cousin, Laura Gillen Y. Her early jobs included a stint at J.C. Penney and waitressing at TGI Fridays and another restaurant. She also worked as a house painter, a hostess, and a bartender. She relates much of her childhood and career experiences in her comedic work. In 1997, DeGeneres came out as a lesbian. The disclosure of her sexual orientation sparked intense interest by American tabloids. The contentiousness of the media coverage stunted her professional career and left her mired in depression. In her book Love, Ellen, DeGeneres' mother Betty describes being initially shocked when DeGeneres came out, but she has since become one of her strongest supporters. She is also an active member of PFLAG and spokesperson for the Human Rights Campaign's Coming Out Project. The same year she came out, DeGeneres started a romantic relationship with actress Anne Hetchy that lasted until August 2000. From 2000 to 2004, DeGeneres maintained a close affair with photographer Alexandra Hedison. The couple appeared on the cover of The Advocate after their separation had already been announced to the media. Since 2004, DeGeneres has had a relationship with Portia de Rossi. After the overturn of the same-sex marriage ban in California, DeGeneres and de Rossi were engaged and married in August 2008 at their home in Beverly Hills, California where they live with their four dogs and three cats. The passage of Proposition 8 cast doubt on the legal status of their marriage, 
but a subsequent California Supreme Court judgment validated it because it occurred before November 4, 2008. On August 6, 2010, de Rossi filed a petition to legally change her name to Portia Lee James DeGeneres. The petition was granted on September 23, 2010. DeGeneres started performing stand-up comedy at small clubs and coffee houses. By 1981, she was the MC at Clyde's Comedy Club in New Orleans. DeGeneres cites Woody Allen and Steve Martin as her main influences at this time. In the early 1980s she began to tour nationally, and in 1984 she was named Showtime's Funniest Person in America. After a 15-year hiatus from performing stand-up comedy, DeGeneres appeared in a 2018 Netflix stand-up special, Relatable. DeGeneres lists Lucille Ball, Carol Burnett, and Bob Newhart among her comedic influences. Ellen's work in the late 1980s and early 1990s included the film Coneheads. DeGeneres starred in a series of films for a show named Ellen's Energy Adventure, which was part of the universe of Energy Attraction and Pavilion at Walt Disney World's Epcot. The film also featured Bill Nye, Alex Trebek, Michael Richards, and Jamie Lee Curtis. The show revolved around DeGeneres falling asleep and finding herself in an energy-themed version of Jeopardy, playing against an old rival, portrayed by Curtis, and Albert Einstein. The next film had DeGeneres co-hosting an educational look at energy with Nye. The ride first opened on September 15, 1996, as Ellen's Energy Crisis, but was quickly given the more positive-sounding name Ellen's Energy Adventure. The ride closed permanently on August 13, 2017. DeGeneres previously described herself as a vegan and big animal lover. De Rossi is also a vegan. DeGeneres coordinated a vegan outreach website titled Going Vegan with Ellen. She intended to open a vegan tapas bar, Bocado, in Los Angeles, but plans fell through. The website for the Ellen DeGeneres show formerly contained a section called Going Vegan with Ellen, in which she promoted Meatless Mondays and featured vegan recipes. In 2016, DeGeneres stated that she had reintroduced fish into her diet, and confirmed that she had stopped following a vegan lifestyle in the last year or two for no reason really in her 2018 stand-up comedy special Relatable. DeGeneres has invited Humane Society of the United States CEO Wayne Paisley to speak on her show several times about the organization's efforts in animal protection legislation. In 2009, PETA named her their Woman of the Year. In April 2013, she donated $25,000 to stop AG gag anti-whistleblower legislation in Tennessee, which would prohibit undercover investigators from recording footage of animal abuse on farms. In 2010, DeGeneres served as campaign ambassador to Farm Sanctuary's Adopt a Turkey project in 2010, asking people to start a new tradition by adopting a turkey instead of eating one at Thanksgiving. DeGeneres previously described herself as a vegan and big animal lover. De Rossi is also a vegan. DeGeneres coordinated a vegan outreach website titled Going Vegan with Ellen. She intended to open a vegan tapas bar, Bocado, in Los Angeles, but plans fell through. The website for The Ellen DeGeneres Show formerly contained a section called Going Vegan with Ellen, in which she promoted Meatless Mondays and featured vegan recipes. In 2016, DeGeneres stated that she had reintroduced fish into her diet, and confirmed that she had stopped following a vegan lifestyle in the last year or two. For no reason really in her 2018 stand-up comedy special Relatable. DeGeneres has invited Humane Society of the United States CEO Wayne Paisley to speak on her show several times about the organization's efforts in animal protection legislation. In 2009, PETA named her their Woman of the Year. In April 2013, she donated $25,000 to stop AG gag anti-whistleblower legislation in Tennessee, which would prohibit undercover investigators from recording footage of animal abuse on farms. In 2010, DeGeneres served as campaign ambassador to Farm Sanctuary's Adopt a Turkey project in 2010, asking people to start a new tradition by adopting a turkey instead of eating one at Thanksgiving. DeGeneres previously described herself as a vegan and big animal lover. De Rossi is also a vegan. DeGeneres coordinated a vegan outreach website titled Going Vegan with Ellen. She intended to open a vegan tapas bar, Bocado, in Los Angeles, but plans fell through. Press the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Share it. 
Who is your favorite celebrity? Tell us your favorite parts from the video, and who and or what would you'd like to see in our next video.